Okay, I'm making another video because I'm bored. <laughs> I'm sick of 54. This is probably going to be my last time here anyway, so I'm on my shaman. I got a... Basically, so my enchanter is my main, but I kind of twinked out a shaman for something to do. So I've been doing Howling Stones Ant mostly for a few levels, so... Respawn in one minute. So these two respawn timers are for the two guys in the middle. Um, so my plan is... So really the way I've kind of been doing it is killing the two mobs at the end. Um, or that spawn right around where you, where you zone in. Respawn in one minute. Kill those together. And then I kill the two by west. So I'm, I'm looking south right now. I'm sitting on the north platform looking south. Kill the the two on on near west, and then I can from the west platform. After that, I I kill the kind of the north and the south pyre golems at the same time. So yeah, each platform has two pyre golems that uh, spawn and stand there. I don't know. I'm talking as if it's obvious, like what the mobs are and may not be. For some folks. So this guy's a harm toucher. Um, let's see here. Yeah, let's see what else. See, there's the East Pather. So that guy is pretty high level. And he sum like he would summon, like, I don't want to aggro that guy. And I'm he would assist this guy if I aggroed him. So, okay, yeah, I'm going to have to eat a harm touch. So I'll root this guy. The skeleton will get assist aggro. Oh, never mind. Let's do this. Okay, that's better. So hopefully, so, because basically I'm going to take hits from the other one. And I don't want to eat the harm touch if I can avoid it. What? Uh, okay. Bungie staff baited. I get beat up a lot at the beginning of my pulls. It happens. It's not a big deal. So, yeah, basically I only epic dot for damage unless... I, but I do kind of want to keep make these two guys spawn at about the same time. So if they're not going to... So if one of them's a lot higher level than the other one... In the sense that it takes a different number of casts of the epic dot in order to kill them, then I may throw an Envenom bolt to on the higher level one to make it catch up so that they will spawn at the same time. I need my uh, so I've got the fungi staff here, so I have mana free regen, which is pretty busted, but that's how shamans roll. <laughs> Shamans are just have a lot of toys that make them be busted. So, I'm level 54, so you don't get Paralyzing Earth on Shaman the 3 minute route until 56, which is pretty annoying really. So, I'm using it still. So it's a little bit of a trick to... So in the the thing about instill and the epic dot is that their times are their, their timers are almost exactly the same. They're almost exactly a minute and a half. So, um, so you got to get a little creative with the way that you make sure things don't become unrooted. So I kind of have a you know a general strategy where I judge it mostly based off of what percentage of the life of the mob they have left. So. After the second dot, I reroute right away. And so, right, so that skeleton, yeah, so that skeleton only went, oops. Um, that skeleton only went down to 80, so that actually means it's uh, a little bit of a higher level mob, so I probably am going to want to throw an Envenom Bolt on it at some point in time. So he, he went down to 80 on the first dot, which means he'll be going to 60 on the second dot. And I rooted right after 
first one landed. So basically I want to reroute about in the mid 60s or so is about when I should reroute so that I can, uh, yeah, to basically get the max duration on the last route. Blah, blah. It'll be a lot nicer when I have Paralyzing Earth, a three minute route. But you can't have it all as a shaman, I guess, until you get to higher levels. You can have most of it, though. Oh, crap. I did not pay attention to what I was doing. Okay. I stopped paying attention to the route time. Yeah, so that was actually probably pretty close. And of course, he will harm touch me if a root breaks. So see, this feaster is down under 50%. So two more of these dots are gonna, is going to kill that feaster. But it's not going to kill the skeleton. Alright, so this time I really have to be careful. Um, I need to not ramble. So, because the I rooted before the dot... So again, he was like 61. So this one's going to go down to 41. So really like around 50% or so. So this time I think I am going to throw an Envenom Bolt on first. The Envenom Bolt has a direct damage on the initial landing of the spell that has a chance to break root. So I'll Envenom Bolt right before I was about to root anyway. If it breaks, I'm meeting a harm touch. But at this point in time, I don't care really. Okay, it didn't break the roots. So, oh, it, oh, that's a bug. That happened to me earlier too. Looks like he's walking towards me, but. It's kind of messed up. Oh, I need to uh, reroute the feaster. So one more cast of the dot's gonna kill the feaster, of the epic dot. It should, um, then with the, can't see the target from here. That's ridiculous. There he is. Just, you know, casual swimming and howling stones at it. <laughs> I've been getting that bug. Like, I didn't used to get that bug. But that bug seems to be happening quite a bit now. It definitely happens when... Like it, the most common time when it happens is when like I cast and it does break root, and then I cast another root and the root lands, and then it the mob looks like it keeps running at me even though the root lands, and then eventually it just like disappears and I don't see it on my screen. And okay, so I'm going to reroute. Bungie staff faded. So should be this should kill both of them. have to keep up at an agility buff because with my fungi tunic it's it takes me down below the AC penalty oh no okay so they both died pretty much the same time that's good that's what I want it's just a lot more efficient to be killing multiples at once. Okay, so those guys are up. So the way I do these types of guys, I'll click this off for now. I come up onto this platform and I mallow the one I can see. And there's some line of sight issues here. So I wait until he gets to right about there then I root this guy. And then I target the other one with this guy. Oh. OK. 
get away from that dude, and then mallow him. Problem is where I dotted, where I rooted that guy. It's a little too high up. So when those other ones spawn, that it might aggro if I don't have these guys dead before they spawn. It'll be close. Whatever. Yeah, so then that so I kill these two guys that were on the west platform and Is then it? I kill the north and south guys at the same time. Seems to be the most mana efficient way. I mean it so it's not it's less mana efficient initially and health efficient. But then I, it gives me a bunch of time to met up before the guys in the middle respawn. So, um, so collectively, I think it's it seems to be a little bit more efficient. Although four mobs at once with the short little route it gets to be a little tricky at times. People oftentimes try to help me out. Like, they'll see me that I'm at, like, 60% health and I got four mobs standing around me and people think that I'm, like, struggling and try to help me out. It's like, I've got it. <laughs> I'm just used to being it. On this guy, I'm just used to being 50, 40% health. It's just not that big of a deal. Yeah, so see, that guy, the one that's lower, is gonna is a lot higher level, has more hit points. See, I'm probably gonna have to use a Invent and Bolt on that guy too. Twenty percent, right? So that's gonna be five tick, five casts of the five casts of the Epic Dot to kill him. The other one's only gonna need four. So to keep them spawning, respawning at the same time the next time. Um, which helps to pull them if they both respond about the same time. Then uh, I will probably push that guy up to catch up. But I don't need to do it yet. Okay, so he's in the upper 50s, so I'm going to go ahead and redo my roots right now. Alright, let's uh, throw the Invent and Bolt on this guy now. Okay. Yep, there he goes again. So now I won't be able to cast on that guy, but like if I think like if you make it turn directions or something. Okay. And he comes back. Weird bug. So now basically it's going to be two more routes to kill to kill these guys. So I just want to essentially buy myself a little bit of time here after the dot. So I'm going to root now. And then essentially when I, right after I dot, I'll just root immediately and then it'll be fine. Right, so it's just like if, you, if you've got two roots left in order to kill it, it doesn't really matter when you land them in order to, you know, if it's two roots, it's two roots no matter when you do them. I don't know if that makes sense or not to somebody watching this, but... <laughs> I gotta do a bunch of calculations in my head or else this is way too boring. <laughs> this guy's about to, this dot's about to wear off, I think. Should be the next tick. Yeah. 
So then I'll just rear it right away. And then both these guys. This guy might actually need a... Uh... Oh, <laughs> that was so close. This guy is probably going to need a JBB at the end to finish him off, actually. Bungie staff baited. Pretty close to 55. This level takes forever. 2% left. Ah, that guy's dead, and those guys didn't spawn, so I don't have to worry about it. About him aggroing stuff before I'm ready. JBB. And it will die. Alright, those guys up? No, none of them are up yet. Too fast, I guess. They should be up pretty soon. Let's see, I can redo my. Agility buff. So let's see, so next one's my stamina buff. They should, all four of these should be spawning pretty quick. I don't have timers on them. I just keep timers for the two that spawned in the middle. Oh yeah, and there was one I screwed up last round where I missed a dot. So there's one of these sides is gonna have somebody spawn way after the other one. I'm at 99%, so I bet this pull dings me. There's one. I kinda wanna wait for there to be two before I pull though. Oh man, there we go. Okay. So can I see that guy? Let's see here. So tells what's the next one. I don't, I don't, can I see that? I forget. Yeah, I can see that guy. From up here, I'll be able to see that guy. So that's good. Okay, so I'll pull these first. So I'm rooting the one that I'm mallowing. And I'm going to run down here a little bit. And... Well, I guess I don't know. I probably didn't actually need to do that. Since there's only one on the other side right now. Because I'll be able to just park that guy right here and there won't be another one that's going to add. I don't know, maybe he'll be up now. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, nice. Okay. So that 
That'll get parked there. Are you serious? I'll fall down into the basement. <laughs> Bungie staff baited. I bet that root's about to break. I need to quick root this guy. Roots get a little bit complicated when I've got four and the timers are all kind of. So I'm just gonna reroute everybody, even though I know it's a waste on these first guys, but. wait for these guys dots to end the next time before I reroute everybody. These ones are fading. That's fine. Now see this one this one's gonna need a, an Envenom bolt. It only took, it only did 19%. So it's a higher level mob. Let's see how these guys are. Yeah, that one might need one too. Uh-oh. What? What are you doing, bro? Oh. Uh-oh. I thought I was going to be able to... I just... I'm probably just going to get the crap kicked out of me by all of them. So that's fun. <laughs> ah, that's fun. I want to get down out of here. Okay, um, man. Okay, so now where am I on my dots? <laughs> this is a mess. I feel like I missed somebody. Is this guy ticking? That guy's not ticking. I don't know who's who. I have no clue. <laughs> oh, man. Is that you? No? Is that you? I don't know. Okay, so that guy just ended. Who was the other one? Are you ticking? I don't think so. I think it's that guy. Okay. Just get, I'm gonna reroute again, everybody. Okay. Oh, that guy is ticking, so it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. And I'm going to throw an Inventable on that guy. 
So these two were on the same side, and these two were on the same side, I think is what it is. Fizzle. See, this stuff is fun. Like, <laughs> I enjoy the chaos. It's the, I guess it's the enchanter in me. I enjoy the chaos trying to do more than really what you should be able to do or whatever. I mean, this isn't... It's not crazy to be root riding four mobs at once as an epic shaman. Fizzle. Ding. Nice. Nice. That level is awful. Bungie staff baby. I need to get that form of the bear or whatever spell. I don't have it. I have gotten tons of those on my enchanter when I used to do... Hold on. Okay. This is not done. When I used to do Broodmother all the time. I get a ton of those Velia spells and sell a bunch of them. But I haven't been... I've been doing Chardock mostly lately. So... My bags are a mess. I got a bunch of garbage. Really, man. Like, are these guys gonna die? I was gonna say I didn't think they were gonna die. Oops. Wrong spell. All the mana free damage and uh, the mana free damage and mana free regen as shaman can do is just ridiculous. It really is busted. I mean, the toys are expensive. But it's kind of crazy. So I got two minutes for the respawn. And then, you know, killing just two mobs at a time for two back-to-back -back kills will definitely, like, I med back up to full. So I stay on top of it. It's, I don't fall behind doing this. And really, if I try to kill them all in pairs, I do fall behind just because of time, not because of, you know, mana and health and stuff like that. I fall behind because of time. I don't get the last two killed before before the the two guys in the middle spawn. So I, that's why I prefer to that's why I prefer to to kill those four guys at once. Even though it makes it it can be a little bit of a mess. Respawn in one minute. So respawn in one minute. One more level of this, <laughs> and then I can, then I'll get PE, Paralyzing Earth, and then that will be a game changer. Then I think I'll be able to kill a lot more than just, I think I'll be able to kill more than four mobs at once, <laughs> for sure. Maybe, so let's see, okay, Pather's out. I'll do one more round. And then I'll probably call this video good. Probably this session good. Stop Slack and then actually do some work today. <laughs> A feaster, feaster. All right. So yeah, again, you can, you can aggro this guy. You can root that guy. The other one... Like, cause then he'll have assist aggro, so you don't have to worry about aggroing that East Pather. That's a thing, right? That East Pather. When people are new to this zone, 
they don't understand how that east path works like you really have to stay away from the east side of the platform especially when you're lower level um Because if that east path or aggro's you, you're probably dead. I mean, you're not going to kill it. I'm not, I'm not going to kill it at 55. Not solo. So you really don't want to get that aggroed on you. Um... So, yeah, when people don't know what they're doing, they'll wander over there and they'll aggro it, and you pretty much... If somebody aggroes it, I just pretty much gate. And it happens, because people Fizzle. zone into this zone a lot without having a lot of... Oops, I want not that. I want roots. Um, without having a lot of experience, Fizzle. so just try to... I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's part of the risk of being here. You just know, accept it. If you're going to fight here... Bunch There's a chance you're gonna get that that high level mob trained on you, but so I try for the most part to not go past the halfway point of this line. You definitely don't want to root your mob over there because he'll assist it and come over. That's bad news. Um, so I try to keep the mobs and myself kind of as as close or to the you know on the west side of this half halfway line here. And then you're and then you're good. And you I don't pull the pyre golems up there. Also the stairs are a trap, so basically you There's a hole, so they fall into the basement. I'm not really sure. Like even if, if I pulled the pyre golems over there when the when the East Path is not there, like is, is it gonna aggro basement mobs? I, I I'm not totally sure, but I don't really want to find out either. I don't... I mean, I've got enough. This is about the right number of mobs for me, really. I could probably do a couple more, maybe. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I might start falling behind. I mean, I, I definitely catch up, and I'm sitting... I sit on full health, full mana. You know, by the time I get these guys killed, and the guy, the two by west, I'm, you know, I'm usually back up to full health, full mana a bit. So it's like, maybe I could do a few more, but... I don't want to go down into the basement because of the oblations... Oblations are a mess for a root rotter. That's the nice thing about up here is that there's no casters. You do get the harm touchers, but really you, you can only have two harm touchers per rotation right because the only things that can harm touch are the skeletons and the skeletons only have a chance to be these two mobs that spawn here it's always pyre golems by the wing doors so it's just super safe the the, the biggest risk here is somebody training that east path there on you Next round, and we'll kill both of these guys. We'll see how much experience I get now. Depending on the level of the mobs, it usually was about 2% for each time killing these eight guys. So we'll see what it is this time. That should 
tickets close. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that so this epic dot is like splurt if so it basically it starts off with really small ticks and it goes up by 11 each time so for so i'm a nerd so i know that it's an arithmetic series basically so it's like 11 on i think it's 11 on the first tick 22 on the second 33 44 we don't see dot damage anymore um Okay, so those dudes are going to die. There's the one. Oh, that's not the one that died. <laughs> I was gonna go loot this guy. That was not the one that died. Hurry up and die so I can loot you. <laughs> um. I forgot what I was saying. I went over that line a little bit farther than I probably would have liked. I don't know how. I don't know what point that guy will aggro you, but this is just the. I'll come up here and just pull him. The other one should be spawning pretty quick, and if he doesn't, whatever. I'll, I'll pull him. Oh, uh, oof, okay. That was definitely earlier than I usually root, but it worked out. But they can definitely, like if they're behind this pillar, you lose line of sight and then you take a bunch of hits. And if, you know, they're both up, then you're taking a bunch of hits from two mobs instead of one. Let's see, is this guy up? Yeah, yeah, he's up, okay. I'm going to take hits doing it this way, but whatever. I don't care. So watch my mana bar when I take my epic off. <laughs> I went from 88% to full mana when I removed my epic. That Basically, that means my the epic is giving me 12%. Wait, what, what was it? 80, yeah, it was, it's 12% of my mana pool. every t So like if I'm at full mana and I take off the epic to recast my regen, my yeah, and then I put it back on. I like if I'm at full mana, I I drop down to eighty eight percent mana. It's kind of crazy. I don't rip myself. I don't have hardly. I'm totally geared for hit points, which I you know I think is correct. So the epic has 20 wisdom and that's <laughs> I, mean, I I have 120 wisdom so that's like 128 wisdom so that's like you know pretty high percentage of my overall wisdom and then 70 mana See, I'm all off on my rhythm because I pulled them separately, so now I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Let's see, I dotted that guy again, right? Yeah, let's see. I should have just waited for the other guy to spawn before pulling. I just don't know. I, I get out of the routine and I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs>
So yeah, this guy's under 54%. Right? Or he's over 50% after two dots, so... This guy's going to be under. So really, the fact that I pulled him early, these guys may die about the same time, actually. But I'm probably done after this rotation anyway. Yeah, see this guy. the one I pulled second is still going to die. I mean, he's definitely going to die, right? Ahead of this. Well, this guy's got the bigger tick, so he'll catch up. I don't know. It'll be close. This one oh, there. Okay, no. Alright. The epic dot and a JBB should kill him. Cast my talisman? I don't remember. I'll just do it. spells to memorize I guess I don't think I have anything I can cast that's useful because I, I don't have the bear spell what am I doing oh yeah I was going to grab the next uh, buff it's agility bungee staff baited oh, oh he did die Oops. typing in the chat box instead of Still at one percent, so I killed four mobs and I'm still at one percent. See, <laughs> I was at full mana and I just re redid my staff and now I'm down to 88. And I, it drops me to 88 when I do that.
Somebody spawn, please. I'm so impatient in this game. I would just Basil. and just in life in general. I hate just sitting here. Which is the reason why I'm recording this video. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna have all my buffs recast. My spell book is a mess. There's a pop. Give me the other one and I'll pull ya. There's, so those are both the ones I can't see, but that's okay. Who's gonna be a hero? Well, I can just go up there now. Now I know. As soon as I can, the one that I can see spawns, I'll be able to pull. Who's it gonna be? Place your bets, south or north? <laughs> South or north? South or north? Someday, the other one's going to spawn. Anticipation is high. <laughs> but uh, south or north, south or north. <gasps> north, we have a winner. South up now? Yep. Faisal. Faisal. Come on. It's crazy how many times you can fizzle these spells with your maxed skills Fizzle. I might have end up getting six mobs up at once because it just takes them a lot so who's it okay that's you I'm gonna just bail through here I could probably levitate and stuff and save the hits, but I just don't really think I care to get hit if I get hit that much. Let's see, that guy. That guy's at 72, so four dots to kill that guy. This guy is at 82, so it's gonna be, I mean, really it would be six <laughs> epic dots.
so he's gonna need it. Well, I mean, I'll probably see what. Well, yeah, again, I might. They're probably gonna aggro. They're probably gonna spawn on me while I'm still killing this stuff. The two in the middle. I mean, if I have these guys done, I'll probably be. If I get these four done before the middle one spawn, I'll probably be done unless. Excuse me. Unless there's a skeleton, I'll kill him to save somebody who will zone in later from having to eat a harm touch. Although it could just respawn back as a skeleton. Who knows? But that was an early break. So yeah, both those are gonna die in four. Four dots. Fizzle. Are you come on? Okay. What? I didn't see which one that was. I I think I just rooted that guy, right? the dots off on that yeah he just went up so these two are my north mobs these two are my south mobs I think I've kept that straight so far I'm definitely going to need to envenom bolt this guy well I'm going to do it to try to make He's gonna Fizzle. run at me. Again, that was a bug. He's still standing exactly where he was. Splurtle. I'm joking. <laughs> Let me see here. What am I doing? I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I think these two guys, their dots faded. friend has a 59 shaman well he says he's very close to 59 he's not quite 59 yet and our plan is to do some crazy stuff with his torpor shaman soon to be torpor shaman and my enchanter so we're excited about that. I actually just sold my choker of the wretched on my enchanter because I want a mana robe because I feel like a mana robe Bungie paired staffing. with a torpor shaman which should be pretty good. And I don't really want to just farm the money. So I sold some stuff. Let's see, so this guy, I think that was this guy's dot. He's done, so this guy too okay this guy so I'm about I've got a minute for respawn so we'll see I don't know if I'm gonna get this I'm probably not respawn in one minute I'm probably not
respawn in one minute. There isn't up. I don't know which one's gonna spawn first. If it's this one, I'm, it'll probably assist this guy. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing a couple more mobs. So that's nice though, right? Like if you don't keep the respawn timers, I I don't think I would have been ready. I mean, I certainly wouldn't have been ready for that. Feaster, let's see. Pather's not up. Oh, there's the pather. Oh, okay, now I definitely do not want to aggro that guy while he's standing over there. Uh, who just stopped? Uh, okay. I don't think a JVV will kill that guy. Well, okay, we're just gonna get the crap beat out of us. That's cool. <laughs> What's this guy doing? Look at that guy. I would probably prefer to not get low health aggro. Oh, what? Okay, that's the feaster. Am I really gonna have to heal myself? I think so. <laughs> That's always uh, disappointing. This guy, <laughs> I feel like that should be a dot in and of itself. <laughs> yeah, I never did get that cast off, did I? Uh, it kind of turned into a be be a bit of a mess. Did I? Uh... Yeah, I haven't uh, mallowed this guy, okay? You know? You know, it's a Friday morning. Might as well just get the crap kicked out of us. Pretty sure I would have mallowed that bile golem. Man, that is... I don't want to see that. That's hurting my eyes a little bit. I'm probably a little bit too close to... <laughs> this freaking guy. Just... JBV him. Put him out of his misery. This guy too. I'm done. I don't care about efficiency anymore. Just kill him. I was just about to reroute you, but you know, do whatever you want. Fizzle. Drusella, probably. Oh, I didn't even see. I went to check the players in the zone, and I didn't even see the dot ended. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Did I read? Apparently, I never dotted the bile for a second time, so I'm clearly not paying attention to what I'm doing.
sort of left me. That's a shame. Man, these guys are uh, getting some in left and right. again. Fizzle. They appear to have killed what was summoning them. I was like, either they killed it or something died. <laughs> either it was them who died or it was the summoning mob who died. Did the shroud of the spirit, so that should be done. So it should be the talisman next. Spell book is a mess on my on this guy. Like there's so much stuff I haven't like done with any sort of detail. I probably have some like I've got a targu strand, or right? like I just like to play this guy. I twinked him out with some you know some higher end stuff, but then otherwise I'm just kind of. Whatever. Next tick's gonna kill him. I'll just let it do it. Thrall of Bones. That's actually kind of a nice spell. So I got the Star of Eyes. I did the Star of Eyes quest hoping that I could take off this uh, shrunken goblin earring. Um, and, uh, the problem with the Star of Eyes is that its range is just atrocious, like, it doesn't reach, it doesn't reach hardly anything. I mean, so, you know, if I 
if I mallow across the room and then I try to, you know, hit my refresh, refresh my spell bar, the Star of Eyes, I mean, that's way too far. It's not even close. Like, it's, like, it, by the time it gets within range to be able to use the Star of Eyes, it's, it's already too, too late to cast Root. Like, it will get to you. So it's just, Star of Eyes is garbage, yeah. frankly. I kind of wish I would have known that before I did all the running around. <laughs> so I'd rather just take the extra earring, take the extra earring off. And so I do have like nice Chardock stuff because I spend all of my time in Chardock and on my Enchanter. So so I have like all the nice Chardock stuff, but then I also have Targu Strands. <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this video up. It's a lot longer than I meant for it to be anyway, but cheers. <laughs>